So as you know, we are still making our way through Greece and boy are we in a magical place today. We are in Lindos and I don't know if it gets much better than this. are starting the day off by coming to the very top point of the whole village. It's the Acropolis, it's something you definitely have to do if you're here and you also cannot miss it. So this place towers over the town of Windows. There's absolutely no way you can possibly not see it from any viewpoint. And there's some interesting facts about it. Yeah, so when you're up here at the very top, you're gonna be surrounded by these ancient pillars. They're part of the Temple of Athena. It dates back to, I think, 300 BC. But then the rest of it is this castle, which is from the 14th century. So I guess uh, they were the Knights of St. John, and you might sound familiar if you're watching mm -hmm. our last video, Rhodos, they basically built the whole old town. They also built this castle, and I guess they surrounded like this old temple as well. So much history here. One of the most amazing things about this place is the view. Take a look at this behind me. Have you ever seen anything like this? I can't get over what I'm looking at. The views are really unbelievable, basically from every angle. There's like a new thing to look at, the color of the water. It kind of reminds me a little bit of like Dubrovnik meets Ia in Santorini. So when someone says the word Acropolis to you, you probably think of Athens. I know I do anyway. Uh, but we recently visited one in the city of Rhodos and now we're here at the one in Lindos. So it made me wonder what exactly is an Acropolis and why are there so many of them? So I looked it up and it actually just means fortification on the top of a hill overlooking an ancient city. And if you're wondering, there is a cost to get in here. We actually read that it was free, but it's 12 euros per person. That's a little steep, but yeah, I mean... Yeah, I was a little sticker shocked when yeah. we got up to the top to pay and was like, ooh, 12 euros yeah. a person. I normally wouldn't do that, but it's pretty incredible up here, so I guess it's worth it. Definitely worth it. <laughs> We are back uh, down in the town and it gets a little busy during the day. That's the only thing I'd say. Yeah, about I think this a place. lot of people do day trips here either by boat or by yeah. bus from the main city. So, yeah, during the day it gets pretty packed, but in the evening it's not too bad. Yeah, and it's easy to just tuck away and find some alleys with no one in them at all. There seems to be like a few main alleys that are just packed with people. So, if you guys follow us regularly, you probably know we don't do a whole lot of shopping while we're traveling, but we try to get a souvenir here or there, usually just jewelry. So, maybe we'll keep a lookout today. I guess that's one of the good things about a touristic area. You get lots of lots shopping of options. options. What are you looking for? I don't know. Honestly, <laughs> maybe a bracelet. Success, guys! I found something. There was so much to choose from, but I got a little bracelet. Uh, which one is it? So she said it was called the Tree of Life, which is very famous in Greece. So I guess I'll have to look that up and see if she's lying or not. No, I mean, <laughs> which one on your arm is it? Oh, it's this one. <laughs> Sorry. The prettier <laughs> one. That one I've had since. I think I got it in um, Santiago, maybe on video if you went back and watched that one. Wow, look at this. Oh my. Well, I think we've done it this time. Look at this beach. Look how calm the water is. Look at the color of the water. And then there's these cliffs. Wow, is that ever inviting? I'm gonna have to go in there later. Oh, yeah. So uh, we worked up an appetite and we got some Greek beers. Mm -hmm, some Alpha this yeah. time. And take a look at the view. Well, you've seen this already, but cannot get over this still. So there are two beaches here in Lindos. At least that's what we can see from up at the Acropolis. Uh, this is the smaller one. It's called St. Paul's Beach or St. Paul's uh, Bay Beach. And we got some yummy looking food. Uh, take a look at this. We got a very fresh looking Greek salad. Smells really good. We got some pita because over this way, 
we got some hummus to go with that. I'm gonna try to get a little bit of everything, although the, it's cut really big, but this looks like it's gonna be good. Oh yeah, that tastes so fresh. I don't know what it is about the feta cheese here in Greece, but you just cannot beat it, and the tomatoes as well. I wish we could get tomatoes like that back home where we're from in Canada, because it's just so, so good. It's kind of the perfect little lunch where we sit here and admire this gorgeous view. Pita is nice and warm and fluffy. I also love, I must say, I love that they pour olive oil over top of the hummus. It makes it extra delicious. Mm. Very good hummus. Creamy, a little bit salty, but not too much. Really good on the pita. It's getting us prepared for turkey, which is mm. maybe where we're gonna go in a few videos. Ooh, maybe mm. spoiler alert. Spoiler maybe. alert, spoiler alert. So you've heard me say already there's a couple of beaches here. I think what we're gonna do, because it's later in the day now and the sun is going down, so I think this uh, beautiful beach here is going to lose the sun. We're going to head on over to the other beach on the other side, and while we're on our way there, I'm gonna try to get you a better view of this place. Anything I do, just follow. Well, this is gonna do. Take a look at the beach behind us. Anna's over there admiring that one. This way, this is the biggest beach, but look at this place. It's outstanding. And then throw in, throw in the place that we were just at. I know, this is a good compromise though. Like the last place was beautiful and this isn't so bad over here. So this'll do, we got two beach chairs, we got an umbrella, we got some sunshine. I did see a sign saying it's five euros per person for the chairs. It's a little later in the day and no one said anything, so shh. We also got some Fredo cappuccinos. Now if you guys have been following our, uh, well this Grease series so far, you know we're pretty big fans of these guys. We've been getting them almost every day. Pretty bad to do, but let's test this one out. Ah, for some reason they just taste better on the beach, huh? They also cost more on the beach too. Guys, the beach is really calm. And one thing I noticed is there's sand here. Most of the beaches in Greece that we've been to are pebbled beaches. This one's beautiful. There's actually fish around. Just the scenery is spectacular. And it's really, really chill here for the amount of people that are hanging out. We just changed positions. I was in the water and I scoped out these chairs, which are on the very end, and they're uh, pretty chill. Yeah, I was just saying a minute ago, it's chill over where we were just there, but it's much more chill here. Check this out. Look at the water. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. This might be my favorite beach here. Uh, yeah, I think so. Well, that was about as perfect as a day can get. Lindos, you have completely stolen our hearts and Greece just keeps sweeping us off our feet. Yeah, this place is absolutely spectacular. I know everybody always talks about <sighs> Santorini and like the views and the sunsets and all that stuff. But here you still have the white buildings, you've got some beautiful beaches mm -hmm. and there's a castle on top of the hill. So really what more could you ask Such, for? such a special place. Put windows on your list. You have got to come here. Now, if you haven't seen our last video, we were out trying to find the best Euros in all of Rhodos. Mm -hmm. So I think we've succeeded. So check that out. And and in the next video, we're going to be going on a bit of a road trip, I think. Yeah, around Rhodos, and we might have someone, I guess something to oh, yeah. introduce you to. Who might that be? <laughs> Stay <laughs> we'll, tuned. We'll see. Now, if you happen to be new around here, I'm Trevor, this is Anna, we are the Delightful Travelers. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, there's a little bell, click that as well, that will notify you of all our new videos. Why not leave us a comment, hit the like button, do everything you can. 
Uh, it just helps us out. That's basically <laughs> how it works. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it. From Lindos, wishing you delightful travels. See you soon. Oh, 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 oh,